When constructing a house, you don't build the whole house in one go. You actually break it down into smaller manageable parts like foundations, walls, plumbing, electrical system, windows and doors. Each of these components can be built and maintained separate. In the same way, component based architecture is used in LWC to break down the complex application into smaller manageable parts like building blocks. Welcome everyone. In today's session, we are going to talk about component based architecture. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. Component based architecture is a design approach that breaks down a complex application into smaller reusable components that can be independently developed, tested and maintained. One of the greatest advantage of component based architecture is the whole application is divided into smaller chunks which not only helps you to focus on one chunk at a time but also helps you to maintain it in future. Each component encapsulates a specific piece of functionality leading to a more modular, scalable and maintainable application. So when things are divided into modules, creation and maintenance definitely becomes easy. But not only that, each specific component can focus on one specific functionality and because of that, you will be focusing on one function at a time. Now, what are the different benefits of component based architecture? First thing is reusability. Components that are created can be reused across different parts of an application. So whatsoever you have created today and used today will not go in vain. You can definitely use it in some other application as well. Maintainability. Whenever it is required to provide any changes, definitely changes can be made to individual components without affecting other components. Because each functionality is divided into various modules, when you are maintaining that specific module, it is not going to impact any other. Because they all are independent of each other. Scalability. It is easiest to scale applications as you can add or modify components without significant rewrites. So definitely you can scale your application by just enhancing one specific module over there or one specific component over there without worrying about the rest of them. Separation of concerns and because each component handles a specific part of the user interface, it promotes better organization and clarity of your code base. Now let me show you that diagrammatically though I am not that much good in the diagrams so here you can see on the left side I have represented three separate components now each of these components might be doing different tasks let's suppose the first one is accepting date of birth validating for the age to be an adult the second component can be accepting longitude and latitude and representing that as a map and the third component might be able to look up to any specific contact. Now these three components can be used across different app pages. Now whenever you want to enhance any of these you don't need to go to that specific app page and worry about rest of the components that is being used over there. You can directly come to that specific component and make the changes over there and it's going to reflect to all the places wheresoever it is being used. Secondly, these three components might be used on the same page but they are independent of each other. So doing a maintenance on any specific one is not going to impact the rest of them. Now let's see the core concepts of component based architecture. First thing is encapsulation. You might have heard this name in object oriented programming. So here also with the help of component based architecture, you are hiding internal details from other components. So even the other component which is communicating with this one will not be able to know how that specific task have been implemented. All that it will know is what I am going to pass to that component and what that component is going to return me back. Composition. Components can be combined to create more complex user interfaces, allowing you to build applications by assembling smaller manageable pieces and build a huge application. Intercomponent communication. Few minutes back I told you components can communicate with each other through public properties 
methods and events so when we will go in depth of lwc we will definitely know about properties methods and events and we will see how we are going to utilize them so that we can make these components communicate with each other now how lwc implements component based architecture so first thing first it uses custom elements so lwc components are custom html elements with their own markup style and logic hence by using these custom elements which is provided by lightning web component itself you can start implementing component based architecture shadow dome now each lwc component has its own encapsulated dome now many of you might be thinking about what is shadow dome now shadow dome is a web developer feature which helps you to keep a part of a web page which helps you to keep the code of a part of a web page separated from the rest of the web page it's just like having a page inside a page we will know more about shadow dome when we will implement it with lwc public properties and events lwc uses public properties and custom events so that the components can perform communication now example of component composition in lwc parent component it demonstrate a parent component that includes multiple child components it's nothing but an lwc which has certain other lwcs dependent on it so the other ones or the sub ones are nothing but child components of the parent component so child is actually showed inside the parent component itself and they can certainly communicate very easily with each other and this is what i was talking about when a parent component and child component can communicate with each other common use cases of component based architecture in lwc dynamic forms those who are coming from the admin side they must be knowing about it but still i'm telling you we can break down forms into reusable components like input fields buttons and validation messages so when we use dynamic forms there we can certainly use a lightning web component we can use it in the dashboard widgets so we can create reusable widgets that can be assembled into different dashboards and modular ui elements which helps us to develop components specifically for headers footers sidebars and other common ui elements best practices for building components in lwc first thing keep components small and focused so each component should have a single responsibility use component wisely so combine your components to create complex user interfaces but avoid deep nesting to keep the structure manageable leverage reusability identify opportunities to reuse components across different parts of the application document components maintain clear documentation for each component to facilitate collaboration and future maintenance now that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care